Oh my goodness, thank you so much for this. A private wedding dress viewing? I feel like a celebrity. Well, you're the bride, so you basically are. <laughs> Mom, are you crying? She, she hasn't even tried anything on yet. Oh no, I can't help it. I mean, oh, my baby girl is getting married. You are standing in front of me, this beautiful, accomplished woman. But when I look at you, I see a toddler with jam all over her. You know, I see, I see a nine-year-old little girl playing bride with one of my scarves on her head. And I see that 12-year-old girl who came home from school crying because all the girls were mean to her. And I see you at your high school graduation. You know, I mean, they're, they're, they're all mental snapshots that I have in my head. And this, this is, this is just gonna be another one of them, you know? Brooklyn trying on wedding dresses. I mean, it is going to be an image that I hold in my heart for the rest of my life. Well, no pressure or anything. Oh, honey, you're gonna be beautiful no matter what dress you choose. And we will find the dress, don't worry. It's not Cinderella, guys. Dress doesn't have to be magical or legendary, it just has to look good. What? No, it has to look more than good. The dress has to make you feel as beautiful as you are. Ma, it's really not that big of a deal. Hey. Okay, Mr. Mysterious, what's the drop-in all about? I need to ask you something, and I wanted to do it in person. Sure, as long as not a best man request, knock yourself out. Well, I mean, I, I did, I, uh, I did actually come over here to, uh, to ask me to be your best man. And I am seriously reconsidering that decision right now. Chase, I was kidding. You were? Yeah. Of course, I'll stand up for you at your wedding. Because I don't want to force you. You're not. Anything. You're not. I just, I, I do want to warn you. All right, I. I may not be great the whole best man business. I mean, bachelor parties, I'm usually the guy sitting in the corner at those things. Nobody puts my brother in the corner. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you know, I don't care about that stuff. I just want my brother to be by my side when I marry Brooklyn. And you got me. <sighs> Phew. I mean, you scared me there for a minute. Yeah, you're kind of tripping all over yourself. Kind of makes me wonder. What? If you're this worked up about the best man thing, I... How are you feeling about the wedding in general? We get started. Brooklyn Quartermain, if I didn't know you any better, I'd think you were implying you do not care about your own wedding dress. I care. It's just not the be-all, end-all for me. Come on, Ma. Not everyone gets a dress like you. Oh, I loved my mother's wedding dress. Really? Which one? Grandmother. How many times did you get married? Six, seven, each time you wore something different, so you are in no position to judge. Well, it was a Spanish-style dress with a mantilla, all made of lace. Oh, I saw pictures, it was gorgeous. And I will never forget Robin coming back for your wedding. She went on and on about your dress, said it was straight out of Gone with the Wind. Oh, 